Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm Sandra, otherwise known as Create in Spain. And today I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to show you how to make a really spectacular, absolutely double wow factor card easily. Now, do not be afraid. I will take you through it step by step. But once you've made one of these, they're going to become one of your favorite types of cards. And come Christmas, you're going to be churning them out by the dozen. Okay, so what we're going to be making is a box card. Now, box cards look spectacular, but I've made a lot of these over the years and they are so easy to make. I've made a slightly different design this time in that I haven't put tabs or fold down flaps on all the sides. Now I've done this for a reason. I want it so that it gives you more options, more room for the things that go inside it and decorate it without the flaps getting in the way. And also you don't have the hassle of thinking, now what do I put on that flap and what do I put on that flap? You really only have two flaps to worry about. Well, one isn't even the flap. This is the back of the card and this is the front flap. So when it's a box, this will fold down towards you like that. And that is where your main sentiment will probably go. And the rest of it, you can decorate as you like. So I've got my pieces cut and I have scored them. And I've got some pretty good glue here. I've been using this one from Eileen's. Eileen's? Eileen's? Eileen's. Fast grab tacky glue and I've found it pretty good so far. I find if I use tape they stick temporarily and then a while later you suddenly find that they've come unstuck. So I do prefer to use glue in most cases. So you want to line that up so that it's nice and neat and give it a good press to join it. Now be careful that you put these in the right order. So if you've got a tab on the left there you want the tab on the left of this one because otherwise you'll end up with them around the wrong way, which will be a bit annoying. So eventually this is going to go like so. Now don't worry about that smudge there, that was on my card, but I know it's going to be covered, so I'm not bothered about it. And we're going to have a card like that. It will fold down flat like so for an envelope, so it's not going to take a huge envelope. And then the inside is going to be well and truly packed with various things. Now what you use to put on the inside is up to you, depending on what theme your card is. You don't want to join this seam up yet. What you want to do is turn it over and I have cut out some decor panels and the only panels that you want to put on are the one for the front, so this one here, and the ones for the sides. So those there. That's all you need to put on on this side of the card. The other two pieces go on the other side. When you've done this, you turn it over and you stick them on the other side. My pieces are stuck on this side. I turned over and I stuck the other two pieces on that side. Now this one you can see has got a bit of a flat top there. That's because I misjudged it and it was on the edge of the card. But since I'm going to be putting other things on top of that, I can hide it later so I'm not bothered. So this is going to be the inside of the card and then that is going to be the outside. So you can see it's already looking quite nice and smart, but this isn't the extent of it. We have these strips. Now it is up to you if you use two strips, one strip, three strips, depends on how much stuff you want to stuff in here. What I've done is I've put some holes in mine. Now you don't have to do this, but this is so I can put lights in my card. Now before you run away in horror and in sheer terror, let me tell you, this is going to be easy. What I'm gonna do now is show you the lighting system. Now there are a couple of options. Now, option number one, you've probably seen these, and if you've been living under a rock, you will have come across these, okay? It's just battery operated fairy lights. So this is all done for you. In fact, they usually come with the batteries included. And if you buy them in bulk, they are so, so cheap. I mean, over here, they're only like a couple of euros or so for a set anyway, 
but you know if you buy them out of season i.e now rather than at christmas time and allow plenty of time for postage you can get these very very cheaply indeed and you can get them in different colorways this one i think is a multi-color one no nope. no nope, it's a a fuchsia pink one very pretty but you can get them in different colorways you can get them white and pinks and multicolors so all the bulbs are in different color sequence all sorts of things and they're really really good now i know what you're thinking you're thinking but it's way too many lights to put in a card yeah i agree with you so if you want to use this one i suggest this thick piece of wire basically you wrap around here and then you have your lights now you can tape that in place if you want to and cut off, I don't know, three, four, five lights, whatever. And you'll still have some lights left. And you're thinking, but, but, but it won't work. Yes, it will. All you need to do is get a pair of wire snippers and cut just after one of the bulbs. And whatever you've got left attached to the batteries works just fine. And you can use the leftover ones. So I'm going to show you how you use the leftover batteries. And it is very, very easy. So here I've got a string, I've got one, two, three, four, five on here. Now you can see I have two wires at this end. And what you need to do is choose one end, snip close to the bulb. You can just about see that. This end, you leave your wires a bit longer and you take an emery board. You're thinking, what on earth are you doing now? These wires are coated. They're coated so that when the lights are used normally these wires if they touch don't short out so what you want to do is to remove the coating which is on them and it's easy enough to do if you've got an e-file you can even use an e-file to make it quicker I've done that in the past because you know <laughs> taking shortcuts yeah why not you do that and then you find yourself a battery now I've got a 2016 here the 16 is the fact that it's that thick. If you have the what was it two two o three twos, they're double the thickness. So I go for a thin one every time if I can find them. And you put the wires either side. And I see, oh, I've got multicolour here, very pretty. Mm, that's sweet. Now, if you put it round the wrong way, it simply doesn't light up. So all you do is you make sure it is round the correct way when you put the battery on and there we go now obviously you might be sending this in the post rather than giving it to someone in person and you don't necessarily want it to be lit up when you give it to them but there is an easy way around that all you need to do if you are including the battery is to work out which way round it is and it's that way and just tape one side to one side of the battery with instructions for the other person and you can put tape in your package to simply tape the other one to that and it will be on and if they want to have it switched off then they just remove the wire adults will be able to cope with this quite obviously so if you're giving it to an adult who's compass mentis and able that's the way to do it if it's for a child or someone you don't think is going to be able to do that then use the previous battery pack method. You just cut off the lights that you don't want. So this is why I have the holes in these strips. These strips have got little fold lines on the edges and you fold them along those lines. I've got mine scored. There we are. And the last one. I probably would only put two in but you know it depends on what you're doing and how much stuff you want inside because your decorative elements are going to be stuck to these and they will stick up. So what happens with these is you work out where you want them to go. Now, if you want them evenly spaced, then you work out the spacing and you think, oh yeah, that one there, that one there, that one there. Whoops. And you can just put a pencil mark where you want them if you're not happy about doing it straight away and you can put the other one on so you can work out the spacing according to what you want and it's very much personal taste i would tend to put them 
so that they are fairly evenly spaced. But you know, you don't have to, it's entirely your choice. And then you stick these down just on the one side. You don't want to stick them on the second side at all just yet. I've stuck mine in place. Now when you stick them, make sure that you line them up so that the top edges are flush with the top edge there and that they are nicely horizontal because if they're not, they're not going to fit easily when you want to glue the other side. All you have to do is to put the glue on these tabs and then to close that over the top and it will pick them up when it's opened up, it'll pick them up and they'll be in the right place. But we don't want to do that before we've actually put our lights in place. And this is where your string comes in and it's where the holes come in. So you can pick where your lights go by threading them. And I've made the holes big enough that the lights will go through quite happily. And because it's wire, you can then choose to bend it wherever it is that you want to bend it. And if you want to, you can put it so that one light goes that side, one light goes that side, one light goes in the middle. You can do what you want. I just thread it through these things. And the last one I'm just going to pull through there. Like so, leaving the wires at the base. Now what you want to do is to just tape that in place, the one at the beginning. So you just want to put a piece of tape on there to hold that one in place. And then a piece of tape on this one to hold that one in place, just so that the wires don't move around too much. So now you can actually fold your card up. Now I haven't put the battery on there and I don't need to because I will still have access through the base. Goes down like so, don't worry about the wires. Okay, glue on those tabs and then close that up. My one warning on this, well, my two warnings, make sure you have it straight, as straight as you can, and don't open the card too soon after you've closed it down. You can leave it or you can put a weight on it or you could hold it down, but don't open it too soon. Now I'm going to do it just because I'm doing a video of course, and if I'm lucky they'll stay in place. If I'm not, they will move. Ah, I'm in luck, they've stayed. So basically you have your wired card now and all you need is a battery and that is going to light up. And if you don't believe me, let me just get a battery and put it in the correct direction. And there we go, we have our lights in the card. Nice and easy to do. You've got a really, really nice card already and it just needs the decorative elements. Now it's up to you. You can, if you want to, put your decorative elements in and then close this or you can put your decorative elements in with it closed. For my images, I just went on to Pixabay and I picked out some images that I liked. And then what I did was I placed the images in a shortcut slot and I didn't do a trace at the time. I just placed the images in shortcut slot to make a page full of images. And then when I got it as I wanted it, I then got it to do the trace so that it was only tracing the bits that I want. When I did that, I set it to print rather than to cut, and I put the offset on it, which is a two millimetre offset. So everything that I've cut here has got a two millimetre offset on it, aside from the happy birthday tag, which I wanted as is. And that one, I imported the image, but I used one of the tags from Shortcuts a lot to actually give me the shape. And now I have all my pieces cut out because what I did then was put it to the scan and cut and get it to scan it and cut it. And you might be thinking, well, why did you do it that way rather than do a print and cut? Well, to be perfectly honest, it's actually better to do it this way if you can, if your images allow it. For the simple reason is I can use more of 
my A4 sheet. If I was going to do this as a print and cut, I've got messing around to do when I export it from Scal to make sure that it's not too big and I couldn't have it up here. It cuts down the area that you can put your images quite considerably. So I'm going to take these off the mat and then I'm going to mount them on some acetate so I can put them into my card base. Before I start sticking anything else on, I'm going to trim this little piece here because I want to put that on the front. One thing that I do is I don't put everything on perfectly straight. I angle some to the right and some to the left. This can be very handy because sometimes you don't have room to put a strip in a diagonal way and you don't necessarily want it purely upright. Here's the finished card. I've not used absolutely all the bits that I cut out, but I did use most of them. On here, I put a little metal uh, rivet onto my tag. And I basically just staggered the pieces so that they are not all in one position or all in one layer. And then I just put some glue on the side tab and closed it up. I'm pretty pleased with that. It's come out quite nicely. Now, I have just taken a picture of it with the lights on. So it squashes down flat for postage. And this one, I think, would probably need a square envelope. I wasn't taking any great attention over the size, the height that I was going for because I'm going to be giving this card in person. It really won't make any difference, but I think it's great fun and it's very, very effective. It's hard to get a decent photograph of it with the lights on. I've tried my best. I put my blind down and, and had a go from that, but it really is nice. And it's only got five little lights in it and it just makes it that much extra special. So please don't be scared of doing LED cards because they're great fun and people do love to receive them. That's it, I hope you've enjoyed it and I really do hope you give it a go. I will see you again soon. Take care now.